Hey guys, welcome back to my motherfucking. Okay, I'm not allowed to cuss in this motherfucking bit. I'm not allowed to cuss anymore, so. Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys, it's your girl Shayla JB, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you like and share. So yeah, let's get down to this video, it's gonna be about, uh, this is a story time, yeah, it's a long long time ago, like, it's when I used to be in a boarding school. So if you guys don't know anything about boarding school, it's, it's when your parents leave you in a school, yeah, for like, the whole term like it's up to three months and then you get a holiday and go home and then after your holiday you go back to school you stay there like that's your home basically so yeah let's get down to the details okay so it was my first year or the second year of secondary school because i did two years of secondary school in tanzania and i finished my secondary school in london so the time when i was in tanzania man like this is a long story so i came to london when i was 13 years old and it was in december so by january i was turning 14. anyway so go back go back to the time when i was in tanzania now i think it was either the first year or the second year i don't remember but anyway i had a boy oh it was the second year because i had a boyfriend on the second year Mm -hmm. so it was time for like exams yeah okay so me and my boyfriend yeah we used to like study together after school we would stay back now one day we're studying yeah like after class everyone like most people are already back, back to the dormitories where we sleep that's where you like wash your clothes and get ready so everyone was getting ready for dinner you know and me and him were still in the classrooms so like it was very late by the time we left there it was like ha one hour or half an hour till dinner you know so when we're leaving the classrooms yeah you have to go all the way to, to where the gates are because you have to pass the gates pass a little road and then you have to go straight down you that's where you find another gate and that's where the where the dormitories are and the the kitchen area where we all ate like the canteen area we used to call it the canteen so bruv we're walking out from the classrooms yeah we're going to this first gate there's a watch guard yeah like a security guard that's always there like just uh, you know for protection for security and he just um i think he looked at us weird and he was asking where did you guys come from and it was like we was in the classroom you know like I, I didn't make a big deal out of it so now come we go we go back to the dormitories we say bye to each other because the male and the female dormitories are separate okay so we both go to our dormitories, we have dinner, and then night time comes, we go back to sleep. Tomorrow morning, bruv, I'm getting ready for school, for class. Fam, why am I not getting told that I'm getting called to the, not the headmaster, he was like the second in command from the headmaster. I don't know how to call him. I don't remember but anyway so he calls me to his office now I'm like what the fuck did I do like bruv what the hell did I do I do not know I do not bloody know yeah so I call in I'm like hey sir oh, yeah. good good I don't remember exactly the conversation but all I remember is this specific sentence man. so he was like um i heard that you had <laughs> i've heard that you've had sex 
<laughs> sex, you know, sex. This time, I'm a tiny little girl. I'm like 13, 12, 13, fam. I do not know anything about that. So, like, I'm not even experienced with any of that. Like, anyway, so this teacher actually thought that we had sex because apparently the information was given to him from the police from the security guard of the school how the fuck are we gonna have sex in the class like i was so confused i was when he told me this i was just i was like i was just there looking at him like you guys like the fuck i remember that day like it was one of my worst days ever because i remember thinking why would anyone want to blame me for something that i never did something that never happened why would you be blamed like i felt really bad like that was one of the days that i will never forget in my life literally and i was so young i was like 13 the second in command to the headmaster is telling you that i've been given some information that you've been having sex what's going on like i was so scared literally bruv i was so i was like no that's not happening like what the hell no and then he was like yeah we was told by someone blah 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 we have to take you now to the hospital and get and get you checked i'm like are you fucking st are you dumb in my head i'm thinking are you dumb you think I'm gonna go there and open my legs to be checked because uh, if you're still a virgin, are you dumb? Are you my fucking dad? And, like, I'm just here for the fucking education. And even if that thing happened, yeah, in the school property, how are you as a school coming to wanna take the child to the hospital just because of a rumor you heard? that doesn't make sense no just tell the parents and then they'll sort it out they'll deal with it but anyway so i think he was trying to scare me that we're gonna take you to the hospital to check but none of that happened and like my dad's never told me anything about this story as well so i'm assuming that the story never got to my parents or the rumor because after i told him that nothing happened i'm sure like he could see like he could see my face that i was actually telling the truth and i was so vexed bruv literally i think i started even crying bruv me at this young age you think i'm having sex in the classroom who the fuck do you think i am like some poor some skank in this school let the fuck and i remember it was around this time that my mom was applying for visas for me and my brothers to come to london like, after this happened i was like literally i cannot fucking wait i cannot wait to just leave this place and go to london because i'm not i'm not gonna be here with people that's gonna lie on my name but yeah i'm brav so that was my story uh back in boarding school i've got a lot more stories about my boarding school days and if you guys want to hear more of those just let me know in the comments down below make sure you subscribe make sure you like and share and share stories with me as well if you ever been to a boarding school or if you know anyone that's been to a boarding school family members friends you know their experience go in peace guys may god bless you may god be with you and yeah Stay tuned. Let's talk a yellow. Hmm. Yeah, let's run a break down. In it, give me down right. Let me hold it on my hand and I'ma keep them bitches running like the. Huh, huh, yeah, better come.